All right, welcome back to Brigandine Legend of Forsena. Welcome back to the... Br uh, 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 uh. You know what? I'm gonna leave that in. No, I'm not. All right, welcome back to Brigandine Legend of Renarcia, and welcome back to the Darkness and Light Challenge Room with Manaslesia Theocracy. That really is such a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, so here's our probably going to fail invasion, where hopefully we at least kill some monsters. And, uh, yeah, they did not attack us. So, what I think we're gonna do... So... We're gonna leave one of the other two teams that should have a higher combat power to attack them, preventing them from going anywhere. Um... This team should be... fine to defend against Norzalio. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't lose, like, on everything. <laughs> um, and then we attack them with higher combat power, which lets, us, lets our attack go through. And then we move the other team up to defend against... Um... Ooh, wait. I miscalculated. <laughs> we have to defend two bases against Gustava. Actually. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh boy. Yeah, and uh, it all falls apart. Hmm. Unless we... Hold on. Did they bring... They did. If we can kill Talia, everything's fine. If we can take Talia down, then we're actually in good shape. Because then we can just move these guys back to help defend against Gustava and uh, move uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. one of the other teams to start fighting against Norzalia while the other one goes and starts fighting against Gustava. Hi. Yeah, that's, that's adequate. That is acceptable. Uh, speaking of acceptable, getting out of these forests is going to be marvelously acceptable. Also, we don't have a Pegasus on our Berserker team. He does have the super attack that's like super low accuracy, right? Like, he is that class, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one of these uh, Pegasuses should be on his team, but they're not. That's unfortunate. Also, I just realized we have no front line. Um, okay, I guess we're frontlining with the unicorns. It's worked in the past. It's fine. Everything's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so we seriously need to put like all the level one unicorns in the front. 100%. And their only job is to heal themselves and not die and protect our backline while our backline nukes Talia. That, that is the plan. All right, get him in place, get her in place, start putting them in place. I guess I don't, yeah, I could put, that's right, Alan also has a super attack that's like, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's minus 29, but it's actually stronger, I think. Right? Hold on. 180 with a minus 29 accuracy versus 235. No, never mind. Yeah, we definitely should have a Pegasus with him. But, um, yeah. Sure. All right. He's going to get in position. And then we put her in position. Pegasus. 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 Ideally, we'll be able to get Talia to come to us without the other two coming at us. That would be preferable. Hmm. Yeah, we really need to get the uh, the other unicorn up front here. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. 
So now we just walk at them very slowly until we trigger Talia and not the other two. Oh, or she's gonna come towards us and the other two aren't? That also works for me. Yeah, I definitely don't want to push too far. Hold on. Um. Okay. Go here. Go here. Go here. And go here. And then something like that. All right. Something like that. And we're gonna hope. Talia comes to us, and not Medessa, and not, um, the other one. <laughs> not, not the other one, the one that's got the knives. Hopefully, uh, hopefully she mostly leaves us alone. Actually, hold on, we have area heal, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright. Della, stay away. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay. Talia, come at us, please. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, we win. We win. Beautiful. Oh, wait. A goes before C, so we might not win immediately. Hmm. Actually, the front line is not going to hold very long. Okay. What is my hit chance? 20%. 65. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing here. What? No! Why would you... Why would you target somebody else first? That's so dumb. Oh well, we have another. Everything's fine. Okay. Definitely a curse. 100% a curse. And sadly, since we don't have Halo available... Never misses. 153 damage. Yeah. Let's... Let's... A little bit of friendly fire never hurt anyone. Well, I mean, obviously hurt, but never killed anyone, unless you plan poorly, in which case, I guess it does, and... Wait, he also has curse. Dude, he has curse. Yeah. We win. I'm actually gonna leave the kill for Aisha, because I would love for her to get to level 20 already. Uh, so let's... Hold on. Hold on. He has Holy Claws. I don't really care. Oops. He has Wild Fangs. Those are yellow. We might actually get those if we kill him. Oh boy. That'd be nice. Um, Halo on Aisha. So she'll get bonus experience. And Halo on... Mm, the... Let's work on getting her to Lilith. Alright. And she's out of range, so there's no heals coming. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. So, um, yeah, magic, divine ray, kills. Oh, dear. I didn't think about that. Mm. And if we holy word, it kills... Does not kill Talia, actually. Brings him to 91. Which is not enough. Okay. 
No, so we just kill with him then. Um, yeah, it was a mistake. I should have... It didn't even click that uh, the demon was not in range to curse on that thing. Um, Alright, that's fine. Let's uh, curse... This guy. Yeah. Whatever. And then you pop a heal. Whatever. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> and Divine Ray on Talia. Boom. Nice. We win. Alright. Cool. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, I... <laughs> the, uh... The idea of having... Defeating one enemy make everyone retreat is just... So dumb. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if they, like, actually knew to protect but they don't, so yeah. All right, don't care. And invasion. Yep, it's fine. We can easily deal with that. All right, yep. Again, not worried at that, about that at all. Gustava's probably, is Gustava the next to fall? Okay, Shinobi's been destroyed. And we get... Xion? Hmm. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. And we also get... Lionel? Okay. Alright. And we also... Ooh. Also Augustus. Do they are... Did they also have his wife? Do we also get her? No? Okay. So I think we have to send him actually, um... I think we have to send him questing to get his wife. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Hmm, Jian's only a level 10. They haven't leveled her at all, huh? Uh, we need more staves for all of our liches. And Xion... I mean, level 10 with 70 agility and 66 strength is pretty good. Not as good as Emma, though. Like, I know Emma's level 25, but like... I think maximum growth for any stat, if you get incredibly lucky, is 3. So, at most, those 15 levels, at most, is 45. And that's never going to happen. RNG doesn't work that way. Which would be 115. So, Emma, <laughs> Emma effectively has... Well, then again, no, they're different classes. Hold on. Hold on. Let me... Ah, uh, she actually, I can't. Yeah, Dancer's not going to. Yeah. Uh, well, even that, no. 74 is all it would boost it to if she was a rogue. Assassin, 76. So, yeah, no. Like, that still is. Emma is far better than Xion. Hmm. Okay. So. Um, let's move Xion up here, actually, to Zagast, and then move, Ru move Rudo, no, Rudo, Emma, and Monica up to Garwellin. Uh, move these three also up to Zagast. And... Oh, right. Monsters. 
equipment. Oh, actually, they had quite a bit. Um, I'll take those. I'll take those. I'll take those. Sure. Alright. And now, release all the monsters I can't keep. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, then again, those are only level one, so... And this, this unicorn is level 4, 57 intelligence, 145 MP. So it's better than this one. And so we release that one. Alright. Cool. Here, we move these, no, not all of them, just these three. Here. Um... So, he doesn't care at all. The monsters don't really care at all, because, I mean, Norsalia is, like, water elemental, I believe, mostly. He's good against them. Although, actually, let me change his glory mana stone to the new freedom mana stone. So that now he takes greatly reduced damage from water. We still need to get him a golden breastplate. Yeah, she, next battle, when we win, she levels up to proficiency 5, so I need to be careful not to get kills with her. And kind of the same with him. So, next battle they're in, monsters need to get, like, all the kills. Alright. Fair enough. Alright, and she also has... Ah, the Inferno Helm. Yeah, I don't have... Yeah. No. I have nothing else that's going to give 30 rune power, so... Yeah, nope. <laughs> She's going to stay exactly as is. And honestly, I think that's what we do. I think that's all we do, honestly. And yeah, in face. Alright, so now we are fine. We are completely and totally fine. Cool. End phase. And they did not attack. So we got a lot of stuff and things and stuff and things. Cool. Nope, nope. That was weird. So here we need a gold thingum. We have no gold thingums. Although we are getting we are getting the monster uh amulets or, or accessories, whatever. Um, yeah, sure. Sure. Um, again, we need more gold accessories. But yeah, for sure. Let's, let's give him some anti-magic gloves. Alright. Do we have anything here? We have that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, honestly... That will actually be helpful against uh, Gustava. And... Does the Parian Color even do any? Counter damage plus 3%. Yeah, no, let's... Uh... I mean, this will make him do so much more damage, but at the same time... I... Yeah, it'll make it easier to get kills, because that also increases, I believe, his breath damage against Dark Elemental people. I think. Don't quote me on that. All right. Um. You know what? For now, why not? 
All right. Sure. Actually, I think the green elemental against Norzalio is going to be better than the 10% evasion. All right. Okay, so this is 2% accuracy, 6% evasion. with the General's Gauntlet. And if I got a purple. Mm, I need a purple. That's so unfortunate. Sure. Whatever. Sure. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. I think once I conquer the continent, I just need to go, like, mass questing. Because I don't like the questing system. And before I start dropping against all the shadows, I definitely want, like, everyone to have gold sets. Anyway, um, yeah, so here, Veda... We're going to give him the Thunder Breastplate, because the green element is going to be very good. And... Yeah, he just kind of has whatever. And it's fine. Alright. And they're all just whatever. It's fine. Okay. Sure, whatever. Then again, actually, hold on. If I give him the Bell of Serenity, and I give him none of these reduce uh, magic cost, right? No. How about these? Any of these reduce magic cost? No. Okay. Any of these? No. And no, we don't have anything else that's left that it. Alright, but. She's wearing the Inferno Helm already. Um. Yeah, no, it's... It's really whatever. Okay. That's fine. So, at this point, we actually don't need any of these people still here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... The unicorns... With her. Actually, can I summon anything here? Yes, I could summon unicorns. Let's get some Mana Miracle Unicorns. Obviously, I'll cut to being done summoning a bunch of Unicorns. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So, I summoned a bunch of Unicorns. Like, 10,000 mana worth or something like that. Um... Uh, and I realized that Aisha is just about level 20. So we're going to train with her on the unicorns. Um, turns out Xi'an actually has a decent chance of getting items from a place here. And we're moving Largo down to where he might be able to pick up the, um, the armor that we're needing for uh, Veda. And also for our assassins. So, unmapped island. Hopefully... Hopefully that's not, like, unavailable now, right? I don't know. 
Hopefully the unmapped island is not, like, unavailable because of Shadow Quest or whatever. Then again... Mmm... Maybe it's safer to go do that. Yeah, let's go there instead. Alright. And then obviously... Let's check and make sure there's nobody that needs to... Or not, not equipment. Uh, yeah, right, because she just got to Assassin. She has Proficiency 1. Everything else is as evolved as we can get it, right? And then here, same thing, like everyone's as evolved as we can get them. They're both almost to 5 proficiency, okay. Alright, in phase, yep. And then here, we're attacking Norsalio. And here, we are attacking Gustava. Alright, getting close to the end. Getting very close to the end. <clears throat> yeah, our combat power is higher. You're not going anywhere. That's a lot of gobbos. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, hey, there's actually swamp here. Hmm. We could actually make use of that monster amulet thing. But, I mean, we're only going to fight here once before we stomp what? them and then move on. What? Although we're actually going to need a second team if we're going to hold it. So, you go there. You go there. You go there. With that there, and that there. And last but not least, her there. Beautiful. Now then, Emma can't get into position. Darn. Alright. So I went too far. That's fine. That's fine. Just kind of... Kind of go in the general direction of where I want to be. Sure, whatever. Okay, Alsen, if he lands a hit, it's gonna hurt. Otherwise, not really worried about it. Alright. Hmm. And then our troubadour is just gonna push in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just gonna push in and try to. Yeah, my throat's getting a little. This is. I I've recorded. Rogue Tech and both Brigandines for this weekend. So my throat's a little, uh, raspy. Yep. Sure. 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 Alright. And she gets in position. He gets in position. Boom. Uh, there we go. Alright, I'll send. Just running around, it's fine. And send. K. Tim? Doing nothing. Okay. Interesting. Um. I'm actually, instead of using her to buff, I think I'm going to use her offensively to cast some Geno Thunder. It's going to be fun. Mm. I mean, there's no way Tim doesn't come for me, right? Thank you. 
Let's make sure. Come at me, bro. Actually, hold on. 8310. Yes. 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 Wait, the poison can miss? Really? Interesting. Um. Yeah, sure. We'll also totally halo her. So that shouldn't trigger until she actually attacks. Which means we should be able to... Just stand by. And she should still have those buffs until... I think even if Tim comes forward, I think we kill everything else first. Just to farm some experience. Okay. That, uh, that hurt. But it's okay. We got heals. And I think that their level 1 dragons are actually no match for our revenant. It's actually a pretty small. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it for now. So it needs 193. So if we cast it twice, that's 386, which would leave us with 70. So. protect somebody. Period. I can protect somebody. Okay. Yeah. I could have also protected the Revenant, but we have more heals on this side. Actually, hold on. He's not in range for weakness. Alright. Because, yeah, casting weakness on Tim is going to be very helpful if I decide to leave him for last. Nice. And... That's not really worth it, actually. That's not really worth it. All right. So, yeah, we actually really don't want to get kills with that Revenant. We don't want to overlevel it. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. All right. And then weakness, which can still be applied to leaders, even with their brigandine. Oh wait, he doesn't have a brigandine. That's right. I forgot about that. I mean, do I want to use the breath to kill the dragon and have Halo popped on him? I don't think so. I think... Oh, he doesn't even have a breath left. 54%. Okay, um, I actually will pop Halo on him. <laughs> Just to make sure he lands it. Wow. Actually, hold on. If I can just outright kill Tim right now...
Wait, I don't want to kill Tim right now. Yeah, you know what? Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna kill Tim with her. I'm also gonna try to kill that demon. Alright. Yeah, I want to get as much experience as I can on her. And she is still haloed. Yeah, she's going to kill Tim. Alright. Which means we can just go ham. Try to kill this dragon. Alright. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah. It's fine. Get this attack in. Which should give him enough experience that he hits Lich. Yep. Cool. Alright. That's a kill. That's a bunch of experience. We ended up not using Geno Thunder at all. So even with Halo, she did not gain enough experience to actually level up. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Easy win is easy. It's fine. Yeah. Alright. Next. Alright, this might actually be a little bit more challenging since we haven't killed all of their, you know, super high level monsters. But, in theory, we should have a pretty easy time here. In theory. And we're not trying to get any kind of big fancy win. We are just trying to win. Because that will give us Mastery 5 on both of the people we're trying to level. Um... Okay, so... Nope, not there. There. Right there. And then... Actually, you know what? No, put him behind. Yeah. And put him there. And something like that. And something like that. La di da di di da da, la da 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 da. Alright. Okay, so he's immune to magic now. But that also means he's immune to heals. That lizard man is dangerous. Yeah, they got some strong units that we're gonna have to deal with, but once we kill them the first time, it's not that big of a deal anymore. Honestly, I think we actually put Beta here with Angel, Demon. Actually, I should have done that the other way around so that the Demon was... Because whenever the Demon casts... Or the Lilith, I'm sorry. Whenever the Lilith casts uh, Meteor Doom, it's going to hit whatever person is directly in front of them. And it's going to do a lot more damage to Kyle than it would to one of the Dark El... Well, then again, never mind. That Lich has a lot of white orbs, too. So, it would actually probably do more damage to him. Alright. 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 Are these guys even... Yeah, these are Mana Miracles. Okay. Alright. And we might actually end up with a bit of a... Uh... 
wind power problem. But yeah, so it's actually kind of good that this team is against Norzolio since they're, you know, using the magic negation. And these guys are very much about just walking up and bashing him in the face. So that's cool. And honestly, like, our backline is kind of thin. Let's see. We definitely put the level 30 Simmerg in the front, right? 100%. We definitely put the Paladin in the front. Alright. The level 30 Lich definitely goes to the front. Um... Then we definitely put the Simurg in the front. But honestly, these guys have a second line attack. So, like, putting them in a place where they can fight ranged is probably a good idea. So, put the Put Veda there, put the Angel there, put the Demon there, do something like that. Oh? Really? Okay. Let's go then. Looks like we're starting. Looks like we're starting. And looks like we're off to a great start. Is he gonna swing again? Oh, he actually hit that one. Okay. We still heavily win the trade, even when he does hit. That's great. Easy battle is easy. It's just a matter of, you know, killing as much as we can before we win without accidentally overleveling. That's really the challenging part here. The not overleveling. I mean, he's down to 374 health. That's 207 damage. And he whiffs. Wow. That's not enough to kill, though. I really wish I could cast this on Veda to give him the planes, because... It's unfortunate that lowers their agility as well, because I would love to make his terrain type planes for this battle. But, I'm actually going to move in and just use Swift Stance. Alright. Right, I actually don't want to get a kill with them, especially on a high level monster. Alright, you know what? Doesn't kill. Unfortunate. Um, I mean, yeah. Okay, this... So close. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. We have the solution. Yep. That's enough. Oh, we don't want to get the kill with her. Mmm. I keep forgetting about that. Because this thing's gonna give a lot of experience. Can't get in there with him. Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. Yeah, so she just needs to make an action. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Alright. Rubino! Interesting. I... That's... Are you sure you want to do that, friend? Okay. 
First things first. I would love the Lightning Helm, actually. Anyway, um... Okay. First things first. We go over here. We hit that, which charms it, which means it's going to breath them. Next thing we do is we come over here and we attack Rubino. Nice. Then we shift over here to keep our backline safe. We put the non metamerical Lich up in front and attack the big hairy fairy. Okay. We move in then with the Mana Miracle Lich and just take up a defensive position. From here, we can use Necro Scream on him to try to silence him. Oh, that's right, no, silence doesn't work against... Right, yeah, silence... Silence doesn't work against uh, breath attacks. That's unfortunate. I should have paid attention to that. I deserve that. I absolutely deserve that. Okay. That's cute. Alright. They do have heals. But we can very much grind through their heals. And again, Rubino ran off on his own. So... Not super concerned. Alright. We definitely want to get the 200 experience, 217 experience we need on him. Okay. First things first. Our positioning was kind of bad, because we're going to hit a lot of our own people here. But, we're also going to do some crazy stuff. Kill the Hairy Fairy. Wound that. How much damage does this do? Not, not enough. All right, let's just kill this. All right. And yeah. Wait, wait, actually first, hold on. <laughs> let's not be dumb. Magic heal on him. All right, cool. All right, now we can run in and be super aggressive against this guy. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Okay, no, he's nowhere near leveling again. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so... This Revenant just needs to hit him once. Cool. Alright. And... She is going to hit level. Yeah, she's definitely going to hit level. So, all she needs to do is... She doesn't have the pre-move. Right, he's immune to magic. Alright, well, Brave Thrust it is. Alright. He's actually beating on her pretty good. Alright. Alright. He he really is tanking this though. A lot. Wow. Um Yeah. Okay. I just realized oh no, that's right. Magic won't affect him, right? Yeah, 0%. Okay. But what I can do... Never mind. 
He's out of range. Um, I can't get in there with the... Alright, Rubino's gonna get another turn. Yeah. Okay. In that case, very easy decision. There we go. Oh, wow. That would have been... Oh. That is disastrous. You know what? Actually, no, it's not. Hold on. No, it's not. Because now it's our turn again. Right? And she already got her level up. Right? Or was it Veda that already got his level up? I don't think she got it, did she? Hmm, that's unfortunate. Alright, well... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I was not expecting the 400 damage Fallberg. Um, I mean... Sure. Can we kill, actually? Hold on. Actually, first. Oh, wow. I want to steal that. I want to steal that. That will be so helpful. So I do not want to kill that thing. I want to try to steal it from him. Do I have a charm? I don't have charm, do I? Do gremlins have charm? Eh. And nah, that's that's cheating. Because a gremlin is not black or white elemental. Yeah, let's uh let's get the kill with him. Nice. Alright. Hey, we stole a sword. Cool. Unfortunate. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Now then. Now then. Okay. Okay. Don't care. All right. All right. Lots of stuff, lots of things, lots of stuff. Ooh, obsidian heavy. Man, we got some good stuff. Alright. First things first. Class. Lich. Yes. Alright. Uh, we need one more level on the Archangel, two more levels on the Archdemon, one more level on the Archdemon. And other than that, we're good. Alright. Now then. Over to this side. Alright. First things first. Oh, we did get them both. Nice. Alright. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, we can, we, we can totally leave her with the same equipment as a Temple Knight for five levels now. And then she'll be able to become a Royal Guard... And as a dancer, she already had... Oh, no, she doesn't have any mastery as a rogue yet. It's fine. We'll just... We'll leave her as a tankity tank 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 for five more levels. Veda can now become a sword master. And he can also actually become a treasure hunter. We're not going to be in as many forests right now. 
that would give us charm. It also gives us the capturing trick. The ability to potentially steal. Gain one random item from the battlefield. Okay. Uh, also gives us evasion up A. And double movement. So we can move in, hit, and then move away. And we do have flames. So we don't have to frontline him. What? Oh. I see. I would have to go Ranger. I think for the moment, I think it's best if Veda stays a swordsman. Speaking of, can we, uh, nope, still, still no? Okay. Actually, that's something to consider. Hold on. Um, where do we have a Fifi type? Yeah, here we go. We have a purple knife. We have a purple chest. We have purple gloves. We do not have a purple amulet. Or, uh, accessory. Because if he could get a set bonus, he might have actually ended up tankier as a rogue. Veda, I mean. Um... But it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, we are currently only two people, but that's fine. We have to wait for her to recover before we can attack. But they might attack us. And yeah, I think we still win. Like, this is a very strong team. Even with just these two knights. That's a very strong team. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. Also, we have items that we can consume. Like giving Veda more health. I'm gonna hold off. I don't know who I'm gonna end up using at the end of the day. She has 776 max hit points, but it's probably mostly from the yellow set. So, okay. All right. Wait a second. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, once she's no longer wounded, we need to trade the Freedom Mana Stone to her. Because she's bringing the red elemental orbs, so she needs the green elemental orbs to offset. That's why we took 400 damage from the Fallberg. And then the dark elemental orbs can go on Veda. Yeah, that's that's the better idea. Um, right. Um, yeah. Class. Proficiency 1, Proficiency 0. Right, right, right. We already looked at all them. Yeah, so... That's it, right? Like... They are golden... No, not quests. Um... Yeah, they are golden to kill things and level up now. Alright. Cool. Now then, um... We have... Down here... Uh, we have moved. He does not have anything. What about if we change his class back to... What was he? Yeah, there we go. Champion. Champion. 
Oh, right. He can't wear the equipment that let him have those people yet. Or anymore. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so is there a quest he can get good at there? No. All right. In that case, let's move him over here. I think that's where we have our monk dude. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll do that then. Yeah. And we're gonna just do this real quick because I'm not even going to attack. I don't think they're gonna attack me. I'm just gonna take this turn off to quickly do a little bit of questing. Norzalio, okay. And Norzalio won. Okay. Now I. Yeah, now I kind of wish I would have attacked the capital. Ooh. No, it's the monster one. Never mind. Yeah, I. <laughs> The fact that I also am not allowing myself to use... Nice. Sorry about that, I know it's really loud in my ears. So it's probably pretty loud in the recording. But yeah, um... So now that she can level up to... Saint... Uh, we're gonna stop questing her, and hopefully... Nope, not here. Alright, time to move her then. Back to Zai. Alright. And... She's back up again. Correct. Still has her yellow set. Okay. So, we want to swap this with that one. Wait a second. Yeah, 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 that's that's why. Um, yeah, so now she has green elemental. So that offset that should offset the red elemental orbs. Okay. And he has black, white, and green elemental. So he should be fine. And then he's got white, green, and red. But he also has the parrying medallion. I think I actually prefer the one green orb to the two black orbs. Specifically because Fallberg is so damn devastating. Well, I that sounded like I cussed. I, I was saying devastating. I swear I was. That... I'm not going to edit it out, though, because it, it was clearly me stumbling over words, not swearing. Um, I mean, if I had a green sword instead of just the blue... Oh, did we steal his blue sword? So now he's not going to have as many blue elementals next time? Actually... Hold on a second. I could actually give him a set that's stronger. Um, she's using that, she's using that for a set bonus, isn't she? Hold on. Hold on, I need to go look, uh, over here. Okay. No, she's not. She is not using that. Hmm. Okay. Oh no, that's white. Never mind. I thought that was the white damn or white attack one. Uh not the not the defense one. But that definitely is going to be better here. I know it's red elemental, but look at that set bonus. 20 health, 15 attack. 
10 strength, 10 agility, 10 defense, and 10 intelligence, as well as 20 mana. Like, also now he's immune to uh, any kind of spells that will, you know, uh, influence him. But he does have four red orbs, so we're going to have to be careful that he doesn't get Fallberged. That said, though... That Divine Ray, and that Judgment, and that Holy Break are all going to be very devastating attacks. Like, very, very devastating because of the increased strength and agility and, you know, intelligence. But yeah, so we are all set. We are all set for next time, where we're going to attack Norzalio again, once more trying to... I really want that, actually. That's going to be a great way to get Mana Miracles up to level. You know what? He doesn't have a set bonus as is. So yeah, let's uh, change him into kind of a backliner for a little bit. Uh, we are going to make it a little bit quicker, though. Because we are going to consume an item. And it's going to be... Actually, no, we're going to wait. Hold on. No, because I can actually... No, I can't get him. Okay, hold on. So, the Ranger. He gets Flight and Charm and Double Movement. All he gets from Treasure Hunter is a little bit of extra stuff. Huh. I see. In any case, um... Oh, wow, well, the only thing that he can't use that he was using is... Uh, yeah, that's... Cool, so he basically still has the same benefits of being a swordsman, just not anymore. Um... Yeah. So he's a little bit squishier, but now he's ranged. Like, he's got Draw Trick, he's got Flame. He actually has Charm, so now we can cast Charm on the Dragon. That'll be devastating. But yeah, cool. That'll be next time, though. I mean, honestly, though, did we... Yeah, we did. We moved somebody. Quest. Before I forget... Don't we need that kind of monster armor for our dragons? Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 we need the helm. Well, we need the armor too, actually. Yeah, okay. It's worth it's worth questing there. With that kind of success rate. Then again, accessories for our knights. But this is also blades for our assassins. Yeah, that's better. 100% that's better. Oh, also, um, there we go. And I think that is that. So next time, Norzalio might actually attack Greensglade. And we're going to attack there. So we might knock the Gustava out next time. And then here, we'll go there. So that is going to be next week. For now, that has been Brigandine Legend of Nerys here for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a good one.